Hey everyone, it's Oli Lindley here from One Number, and today we're going to take a look at fixed LOD expressions. Uh, we're super excited, we're going to come back to level of detail expressions a couple of times over the next few months, uh, but we're going to kick this off just by looking at some fundamentals of level of detail expressions. As always, this workbook is in the description, you can download it and follow along, or you can build your own uh, using Sample Superstore in Tableau. Okay, so I think the first question we should ask is, what is the level of detail the level of detail is determined in each worksheet. So it's not just like across your dashboard or workbook, whatever it is. For each worksheet, is it's the dimension, uh, it's the intersection of each dimension uh, that generates a new mark. Okay, so what do I mean? We'll take a look at this little example. We've got category, subcategory, and sum of sales. Now, the in this particular worksheet, a new mark is generated for each subcategory, right? Uh, we are showing instead of one big sum of sales pill, we have 17 because we've got 17 subcategories. So our level of detail here is the subcategory level of detail. But if I drop region onto columns like this, you can see now instead of 17 marks, I've got 68 marks and a new mark is generated for the intersection of each region and each subcategory. Okay, so our level of detail here is the region and subcategory level of detail. Now, it's probably worth noting that in Tableau, all your measures are automatically aggregated at the level of detail in your worksheet. Okay, so because the level of detail in our worksheet is region and subcategory, any measure we put in here is going to end up at the region and subcategory level of detail. But sometimes you don't want that. So for instance, in our case, if we're looking at subcategory and sum of sales, maybe I want to see a column here that shows me the sum of sales amount for each category. <clears throat> so that way I can compare my sum of sales for each subcategory with the sort of parent level category. How would I do that? Well, by simply dragging sum of sales onto rows and making it discrete, right, all this does is it generates sum of sales, but at the subcategory level. Why? Because that's the level of detail in the worksheet. So what we need to do is we need to create a calculated field that says to Tableau something like uh, ignoring the level of detail in the worksheet, right? Calculate my sum of sales at this level of detail, no matter what, right? To put it in another way, we could say fix at this level of detail, show me my sum of sales, right, or my aggregated measure. So I'm gonna create a calculated field called category sales, I'm just gonna say fixed so I know exactly what's going on, and I'm gonna type in fixed. You'll notice it starts with this curly brace. All LODs start and end with a curly brace, so make sure that that's in there, but it should generate automatically when you drop it in. So I'm gonna say fixed at, and now I need to specify the level of detail or the dimension level that I want my measure to be aggregated at. So I'm gonna say fixed at the category level, right? That's what I want. So I want sum of sales for each category. So I'm gonna say fixed at the category level, show me, and now I put in my aggregated measure. Okay, so let me break down that syntax again. So we're gonna say fixed at uh, my dimension level, show me my aggregated measure. Okay. So that's kind of like a generic way of looking at it. Uh, if you wanna just put this into a plain English sentence, might be helpful. You can just say, for each category, show me the sum of sales, right? For each category, why? Because I want the sum of sales amount for each category. It's also helpful to me when reading this, you know, if we had region in here too, to have a little comma in my second dimension. It's easy to read for each category and region, show me my sum of sales, right? For each category and region, show me my sum of sales. Nice and simple, but that's the idea here. Okay, so for each category, show me my sum of sales is my fixed expression. And what this means is that uh, sort of regardless of the level of detail in my worksheet, I'm going to see, um, the sum of sales at the category level of detail. So with some basic formatting, you can see I now have a sum of sales amount for each category, which is super cool. And that's not changing 
based on the subcategories, right? That sales amount changes for each category. Awesome. So we said fixed at the category level showing my summer sales. Okay, we're gonna go on to a really interesting thing about uh, fixed LODs now, but I just wanna say if this is interesting to you and you wanna learn more about Tableau, why not book an office hour with us, get some one-on-one -on -one mentoring or, or Tableau consulting, or come and take a class with us. We've got really, really uh, exciting classes lined up over the spring. We'd love to have you there. Okay, here is something that I wanna show you about LODs. So here's our fixed LOD, so in our case, category sales. Now, what I want you to notice is that this fixed LOD uh, is carried out before our dimension filters. So a dimension filter, any dimension that you have on a filter, the fixed LOD is calculated first. What does that mean? It means that in a situation like this one, so it's the same view, but we've got subcategory, category sales and category, and all I've done is I put region onto filters. All that means is that this amount of category sales amount does not change if we filter it. Why? Because that fixed LOD amount, 754,000 for furniture has been calculated before the region filter uh, is executed. So what we wanna do is we basically wanna say to Tableau, hey, can you take our region filter and move it up the stream so that our fixed LOD is, is sort of calculated after the region filter is executed. So what that means is we need to add this to context. It's not difficult to do. You right click on the dimension filter that you want added to context and you just say add to context. It turns gray. That's the sign that you've got a context filter. And now take a look at the 754. As I cycle through, that changes. So based on your use case, you might want that uh, you know, LOD fixed amount to change. Sometimes you don't want it to change. So based on your use case, right click and add those dimension filters to context if you want them there. Okay, should we look at another example? <clears throat> we're, gonna take, um, we're gonna take a look at some cohort analysis, All right? If you haven't worked with cohort analysis before, that's okay. But I think another example would just be helpful for us to get familiar with fixed LODs and how they work some of the logic behind it. So what is cohort analysis? We'll say we've got a bunch of customers and all of our customers have, well, I guess many of our customers have purchased more than once. So you can see like in Aaron's case, he's purchased multiple times from between 2020 to 2023 and you know, so on and so forth. What we might wanna know is something like how many of this year's sales were attributable to people who first purchased in a prior year, right? And maybe we can get super specific. What amount of this year's sales were attributable to people who first purchased in 2021? What we're basically trying to do with cohort analysis is track our customers' behavior over time by separating them into these cohorts based on you know some trait that they share, in our case, the first year that they purchased. So what we wanna do is we wanna to say to Tableau something like, hey, can you give me the first year of order date for each of our customers? So we would lump Aaron, Aaron, second Aaron, third Aaron, Adam into the 2020 cohort, right? Whereas this Adam, Adam Bellavance, would be in the 2021 cohort. Right? Does that make sense? So let's do that. Let's build a uh, calculated field to return these cohorts. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna create a calculated field called cohort uh, years or fixed, you know, whatever it is. And I'm just gonna start with a fixed expression again. So I'm gonna say fixed at what dimension level? Show me what aggregated measure, right? I'm gonna say fixed at, uh, uh, sorry, not order date, fix at the customer name, right? So for each customer, basically is how we started, for each customer, show me the minimum order date, right? Or the first order date. So that's what I want. I just want a single order date return per customer and that order date needs to be the first order date linked to that customer's name. You can specify, you know, when you're working with dates, you can specify the date part, you can say, hey, for each 
customer, show me the minimum year of order date. If you don't want those cohorts to be broken down further into quarters, months, you know, whatever it might be. So we can specify that too. You don't need to, it's okay. But maybe for our case, we will, just so you can see. Okay, so for each customer name, show me the minimum year of order date. And I've put a little curly bracket at the end. You always have to pop that in and we hit okay. Now, this is interesting. Tableau is returning our cohort as a measure, hmm, which is not quite right, because I want the minimum year of order date, order date actually being a dimension. So I'm just gonna click and drag this up here. So here is our cohort years now as a dimension. Um, hmm, notice our little data type is numeric. It doesn't matter too much for our particular purpose. If you really want to change it, you can click on the little pound sign hashtag and choose date, that would be fine as well. Um, but maybe we'll just head back for simplicity's sake. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we, you notice we've got four years up here and each of these bars is now broken into these different proportions. Okay, so here's what I wanna show you. Uh, our cohort analysis has now grouped all the customers together in years, which allows us to say something like, in 2021, $370,000 worth of sales came from customers who first purchased in 2020, right? This is the 2020 cohort. While $102,000 worth of sales came from customers who first purchased in 2021. So we can see, wow, over time, we actually don't have a lot of purchases coming from brand new customers. Most of these are returning customers, right? Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? We'll probably have to do a little bit more analysis to find out. Okay, I hope that's been helpful. I think that's where we're gonna leave it today for fixed LODs. If you do have any questions, pop them in the comments below. We'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, these are super helpful. A lot of people are intimidated by, by LODs uh, because I think maybe they can be a little bit abstract to kind of get to grips with initially, but there's no reason for that. LODs are so useful. And I really hope that this helps you implement them uh, in your day-to-day -day Tableau work too. Awesome, see you soon.